Let's see if you can hear the mic now. Audio, hello? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's registering now that my mic is picking up. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Thanks. Dude, I do have to get the sorted out base, but um, for now, I'll just run with this. Thank you for being uh, for being there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, definitely. Uh, can you, are, okay. Yeah. Hold on. I'm logging in right now. All right. I'll, I'll drop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go into this. Thank you. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. I think we got we're we're back on top. Uh, thank you for being uh, patient with me as I got this sorted out. Hopefully, the audio is good. Um, let me share that. Let me go full screen. All right. Woo! All right. So what we should be dealing with now, guys, is. Um, What we should be dealing with now is you should see me. You should see the threat gen red versus blue portal. You should hear me. Um, and again, thank you for giving me some grace. I'm going to look at chat right now, guys. You're helping me out. Screen's all good. So is audio. All right, cool. Thank you, Nick Barker. Look at this, dude. Jerry guy, 311 back here. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, so let's get into the stream. I'm sure we're a few minutes behind. I'm going to go ahead and hit play, multiplayer, internet. Um, let's do timer in 75 seconds. Um, we'll host as red team. Here, let's do 60, 60 turns. Host as red team. And I'm currently playing. Okay. I am going to have to like hold the mic up to my face. What a, what a bummer, guys. Like really what a bummer that... I have audio issues like 24 seven. It's such a pain in the butt. I gotta find some way to like prop this thing up in my face. Give me one second. I don't know if this will work, but I have these, I have these, um, I have these like, yeah, you put them under your bed to like make your bed higher. So we're going to put it under our mic in the most ridiculous way possible. Call or text Brandon. Okay. All right. You guys, this operation I'm running right now. How's my mic uh, right now? Hopefully it's good. Dude, it says I'm... What? What a mess, guys. This is like a mess. Yes, I agree. 100%. This is a train wreck. Let's see. 75 seconds. Host is red team. All right. There were some connectivity issues. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. So start the game. Start the game, Brandon. All right. Start the game. Uh, 
All right. Wow. This has been something. All right. Brandon, got to start start the game. There we go. All right. So we are in now. And we are going to get going. All right. I will be watching Chad. Thank you. Uh, let's hope for another, uh, not another SmackDown. Let's hope. I'm going to go for it. Loading the game. And let's rock and roll. All right. I am the red team. You can see I have five hacker resources. Level one. Got all my different uh, things down here. Brandon doesn't know this, but my plan today is to go social engineer, do it, do spear fishing, do the crap out of some research. And, um, I want to get, I basically want to exercise my Eric Taylor strategy on Brandon pool. Okay. So that's the plan today. I'm going to try to get smart on, um, social engineering so I can get physical access. And then I'm going to try to uh, get in there. Actually, you know what? Let's change it up. I don't really typically do the rogue device. So maybe that's my plan today. I do like that. How's the audio sound good? Obviously, please no stream sniping. Don't share anything uh, one way or the other. All right, here we go. We got our action tree. First thing we're going to do, a little bit of OSINT, no big deal. And we're going to do a little bit of research too. We want to research our human SE, right? Human SE is going to help us physically get onto the premises. That's physical security. I think human SE is going to help us with our... Um, social engineering technique. So let's do that. And we're gonna do research on physical security, because we're gonna wanna go on site too. All right, and that's how we end our turn. Hey, good to see you, Chris Somerville. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, Sevisot. Yeah, I do need to be uh, a little bit more discreet. I'm going advanced persistent threat right now. So a little bit of OSINT, going to rattle some, you know, shake some doorknobs, if you will. See what's going on. I like it. I like it. How's everybody doing today? We had a little bit of a snafu at the beginning, but I think things are looking good. You know, I really do have to get the audio tuned in. It, I'm running like banana meter. Um, thanks, Casually Joseph. I'm running banana meter to, to route my audio. Um, I just switched to a Windows machine. I do think Windows are more reliable um, when it comes to streaming, right? So I've been streaming for a couple of years now. I've used Windows. I've used Mac. Um, Mac does have some solutions, but I got to tell you, Windows is... Uh, is, is got better support. Don't know why my audio is janky. We'll get it sorted out though. All right, here we go. All of our resources are still committed. So we will end the turn. Hey, Michael Starnes. Good to see you, Just Ben. Hot, steamy. Does it get hot and steamy in Chicago, Ben? <clears throat> I thought... Doesn't Chicago have like two weeks a year that's beautiful? And then the rest of the time, it's just like wind whipping off the lake. I will say I've been to Chicago. <clears throat> I love Chicago. Like the weather, the weather isn't my speed, but Chicago as a city is wicked fun. Wicked fun. Like great walkable bar scene, nice restaurants, cool culture. Very nice. What's up, Brian Brinkman? Good to see you in chat. Yo! Three weeks, yeah, exactly. Good kite weather. Dang, Carrie, 104. Hopefully you're staying cool, man. Yeah, B-Sec, the audio sounds fine, but you might notice that I'm talking into this huge bulbous mic in front of my grill right now because 
Um, I had audio issues. I can't play my sound effects. It was a mess. It was a mess. But, you know, and I got my boss barking at me. Okay, so let's see. Physical security research completed. Let's keep going. Oh, sin done. I'm going to keep doing research though, okay? This is my plan. My plan is to max this out. And let's see. I want to be good at FizSec and good at um, social engineering because when I get on site, I want to be able to do something with it. We're going to scan from the internet. Go ahead and end the turn. Thanks, Patrick Moss. Bringing Patrick's chat on screen. Yes. Love it, Patrick. Thank you. Winter Jolt's talking about 90 degrees in Alabama. Love it. Haven't been to Alabama. I know they got the good football programs, but never been there. Um, Winter Jolt, I don't know how, how much into the cyber community you are, but is there a good cyber scene in Alabama? Like good B-sides, conferences, any type of, you know, support or events or anything like that? I'd be interested. Let's see. Let me edit this. I'm just putting a little banner here. Give me a second. I have a feeling that, uh, all right, we completed our first host scan, timer's ticking down. We see a couple things. We only have one asset available right now to do anything with. Um, we're gonna do a spear phishing attack soon, but right now a port scan is probably the best idea. Let's go ahead and just, we, we are randomly selecting one. I will choose the one with the lowest IP address, thinking that IT infrastructure allocated the early IPs for the uh, IT infrastructure in the upper end for endpoints. So I don't know if that's the way the simulator works, but that's the way, um, you know, to have some strategy. BSEC, any, any, any thoughts around that, being a network guy, around the early, not the early, the lower IP address ranges being kind of reserved typically? Let me do this. Let me do this. Um, hmm. Trying to put a little thing here. There we go. That's what I wanted right there. Rocket. There we go. The interface is a little janky for me. All right, come on now. Here we go. All right, let me see. First port scan completed. We've completed our our um, training, which is awesome. We're gonna go ahead. It is a network device, which is a good sign. We may have grabbed the um, network firewall. Let's continue to 
Actually, let's do spear fishing. We're gonna do a spear fishing attack, which takes three turns. And we're going to do some research on um, physical SE, where is it? And that'll buy us a couple turns, okay? All right, get chat back up. All right, let's look at this. Let's see, Gulf Shore, Alabama. Yeah, you know what? I always forget that Alabama is like on the Gulf of Mexico. Love, love the Gulf of Mexico. Like I love warm ocean water. I'm not a cold ocean water guy. Georgia's nice. I do, I do like Georgia, Alicia. They have a great cyber community between Aiken, Augusta. Um, you know, even Atlanta's got some action in there. University of Alabama Hackathon. That's pretty cool. I like that. Is University of Alabama Birmingham the same as UAB? I see UAB in uh, like NCAA tournament and stuff, but I just, you know, admit ignorance. I don't know. Oh, good. Thanks, BSEC, on, on the network IP ranges being low first. Um, let's see. All right, let's go. You can see our, our resources are still fully allocated. You can see here on our skill tree, our human SE and our physsec is looking pretty good. So we're actually going to want to move on to on site here starting soon. Uh, so we're taking two forms of attack, the spear fishing and the physical penetration. <laughs> uh, you know, I might be 42, but I'm still young at heart. Like that cracks me up. All right, let's see. Michael Starnes, you know, hey, here's a. No, that's not why I asked. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, here's another like discussion topic and, and Michael Starnes kind of brings it up when he says IPv6. Here's the deal guys. IPv6, it's been around for a long time. I've been working in industry for a very long time and do dabble in the IT space. Uh, BSEC, you're a network engineer. Like I feel like IPv6 was like a great idea to solve the IPv4 problem, but then, you know, RFC 1918 kind of solved for that and it really hasn't been uh, 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 in an IP exhaustion issue. I feel like IPv6 just introduced confusion and potentially security vulnerabilities because people don't understand it. Now, I will admit that I might just be old and that's just a trick that the old dog isn't going to learn. I'd be curious what people feel about IPv6. All right, we've got two of our resources available. Um, we are... About to finish our spear fishing attack. Hopefully it works without without issue. We need to get on site. So let's do physical recon so we can change location, okay? Brian Brinkman. Yes, I'm playing against an active adversary, a real human, Brandon Poole. If you go to youtube.com... Slack, I'm going to put it in chat right now. Um, you can actually watch a shoutcast version of the stream right now. Pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can edit this really quickly and do it this way. Go to youtube.com slash threat gen to watch a shoutcast version of this stream. Okay. Boom. Can you guys read that okay? 
Like I've got so many windows going on and my I'm obviously taxing the crap out of my laptop. Um, so it looks good. Let me look at chat. I do want to know how IPv6, <laughs> what people had to say about that. All right, here we go. Spear phishing attack successful. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ugh, lame. We got an end user. This might as well be Carl's computer. Not awful, not awful, but not great. All right, we are gonna wanna get on site soon. We have three resources. Um, we can, let's, uh, I guess let's host scan from here, right? That way we can look around. And let us, let's install ransomware. I'm thinking because it's an endpoint, an end user, we can use, here's what I'm thinking guys. If we install ransomware on the endpoint and we successfully detonate the ransomware after we get on site, Brandon will be focused on remediating the ransomware attack while we're up upside the HMI. Oh crap. I shouldn't have talked as long as I did. Fool. That was foolish of me. Mistake. All right. How about instead of talking, I take action? Okay. So let's change location. We're going to go to the perimeter. Let's do some more training on... Human SE, okay, and that's our two resources. So we've got a lot of assets right now. Chances are Brandon has not done network segmentation yet because I can see all this crap. Totally whiffed on using all my resources, which totally bums me out. But you know, what are you gonna do? Let's see. Open that spreadsheet, okay. Yeah, we are, we're pivoting. Cyber Carl, I love it. Love it. I see 30 of you in here with me. We are playing red versus blue threat gen cybersecurity simulation platform. You can go to threatgen.com for more information on the platform, but hope, hopefully you can enjoy hanging out with, uh, with me and with chat here on stream. do this nobody commenting on ipv6 huh that's okay that's okay i understand ah hopefully you guys can hear the music i do love i do love these shirts guys u.s cyber games uh simply cyber is a sponsor of u.s cyber games and they sent these six shirts and it's just just so cool all right so I want to install ransomware on this computer. What can we do while we're in here? Um, we could do a Wi-Fi scan, but that's not really here. Create malicious USB while I'm in there. Harvest creds, evade network detection. Let's do, let's do evade network detection. Actually, you know, let's do another spear phishing campaign. It does take three turns, but I think it's worth it. I'm gonna install ransomware. That was my plan. And it was it was to um, disrupt him. Hold on, wait a minute, what am I doing? I gotta keep moving, baby. I don't know why I... Let's go to the plant. Oh, crap. Ah, ah. Please commit. Ah! Oh, gosh. All right. So I'm, 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 I'm losing it as a red team member right now. Um, Alicia, 
Alicia Jerry uh, studying IPv6. I know, uh, Justin, uh, like such a such a hot mess. I'm such a hot mess. I want to finish my research. What does my action log say? All right, we're gonna we're gonna move into the environment right after this, okay? I thought for sure it was two turns to get to the. Um, I thought it was uh, two turns to get to the um, to the plant, and I was just gonna walk in with my clipboard, like I own the place. We are installing ransomware, I think, on this box. No. All right, we're going to be finished with human SE. What do you guys want? Do you want to go to the plant or do you want to go to the corporate office? What what would you be interested in? I'll I'll I'll, I'll query chat. I'm good with whatever. What do you guys want to do? Let's see. We got 1 minute here. What do you guys want to do? You guys want to go to the plant and blow up? Oh, what the hell? Why is perimeter? Oh, did I back? Oh my God, guys. I screwed up really bad. I accidentally moved myself out of there. So I see uh, two for corporate, one for plant, two for plant. Um, it's going to take me an extra turn to get over there now because I'm an idiot. So... Let's do this. I can't believe I messed up like that. Such a boneheaded move. All right, so I see two for plant, two for corporate office. Guys, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Do you want to go to the plant and try to detonate an HMI, or do you want to go to the corporate office and install a rogue access device and ransomware the crap out of the data center? Patrick Moss wants to go for the jugular. I'm feeling that means plant and HMI. Totally reasonable. Let me put my caption back up. I know it sounds like an excuse and it really is an excuse. I make no, I make no excuses, but my interface is a little chunky, a little slow. Like it's tough for me to move around, which kind of sucks. Corporate, corporate. Go be a lion. So I feel like a lot of people are plants, right? So I got Lewis, Patrick, casually Joseph feeling the plant. Sabazot wants the plant. Joshua and Bisek want to go. Well, uh, Carrie, casually Joseph want to go to the plant. <laughs> Get that ICS. All right. I feel like the plants got it. So let's move into the plant. Not make that same mistake twice here. We're going to use physical security since we spent so much time learning that. We're going to get that ICS, people. I wonder if I can open Task Manager while I'm playing this game. Let me see. The other day when I uh, was playing on stream, I was having performance issues like I am right now. And I had like nine instances of Discord running. I only have two instances right now. I don't I don't understand what is the resource pig on my machine right now. Um, Google Chrome. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Um, Spotify is running. I'm not even using it. So let me end that task. Um, let me end... Microsoft Outlook. Don't need that. Okay, let's go. We're in the plant, guys. We're in the plant. Let's go. Let's go. All right. You guys want to go to the data closet or the control room? I think the control room is where the engineering workstation is. Let's... Hey, you know what? If you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. Am I right? Let's do it. We still got two actions, so 
while we're in there, is there anything else we can do in here? Um, what does, ooh, search for HMIs. I'll take one of those. What can we do on this guy? Hmm. All right, boys and ladies, we are searching for HMIs. We're moving into the control room. We are going for the jugular. We are going for a ride. <laughs> yeah, I love it casually, Joseph. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, clicked on the wrong one. Hold on one second. Casually, Joseph knows what my problem is. Six instances of not a coin miner dot exe. Yes, that probably is. And if you're uh, a regular fan of Simply Cyber's daily cyber thread briefing, you know that I deprioritize uh, removing coin miners. I mean, I'm not saying I, I want them there, but... It is what it is. Let's install Stuxnet. Michael Starnes knows what's up. We're going for it. I like it. We're going to the control room. Let's see what's up. HMI found. HMI found. We got the gateway firewall. We have the HMI. Uh, looks like we failed to enter the physical control room, but we did not get arrested, which is fine. Here's the HMI, I believe. But we can't get to it. We have to... All right, guys. I guess we have to... I'm confused what just happened, but let's go to the... What do you think? The data clause? The... Like, the control room, right? Let's go. Let's do social engineering. And we got two, two things, so what can we do? Let's install ransomware on this machine now and then detonate it. Jess Bishop in the house. Jess, did you start your new work yet? Would love to get an update on that. So we've, we're gonna be social engineering our way into the uh, control room, hopefully. We've, we've encountered our first little bit of problem where we were unsuccessful in accessing the control room. But the good news is we jiggled the door handle. It was locked. Nobody saw us. Nobody questioned us. So we're still on site walking around with our hard hat and clipboard. But we're not, we're not having a problem. All right. Got my good luck charm. My son gave me a good luck charm for the stream today, since I lost last time. Not good. Let's see. Love it. Let's see, let's hope. Luck be a lady. So we've got this one compromised asset that we're installing ransomware on. We found the gateway firewall. We have this embedded device, which, um, here we go. Oh, crap. We're in jail. We're in jail, guys. Not good. We, that's not good. But the good news is we installed ransomware on this device. So while we are, uh, let's, let's um, activate the ransomware, okay? And the idea is that he will activate incident response and it'll slow down his information security program. Okay. I feel like it will reveal that. Oh, wait, hold on. If I do that, that's going to be a problem because, um, how do I find vulnerabilities on this thing? That's what I got to do. Hold on one second. I got to find some bones. Um, all right, let's do fuzzing or find public bones. Let's do fuzzing. Since we're in jail anyways. 
Damn it. We are so close, too. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do another social engineering attack. That did get us some success. Unfortunately, it got Carl's computer, but you know. The, the thing is, guys, we spent so much resources on second human SE that we really need to go on site. We need to do social engineering and go on site. Should we hire a hacker? Why can't I see the action tree? Okay. Come on. So all my resource committed. Let's see what hiring a hacker does for us. Two assets, three turns, and we would get another hacker. That's kind of nice. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to, the second I get out of jail, I'm going right back into the plant, except let's, you know what, guys, chat was divided between going to the plant and going to the corporate office because we went to the plant, got punched in the mouth. Let's go to the corporate office and see if we can do a little bit better. Maybe, um, get in there, plan a rogue device, do some scanning, you know. Now, I will tell you, if fuzzing reveals something nasty on this gateway firewall, uh, like a zero day, we should pop it and uh, see what we can get. How's everybody's week going, huh? Any big plans, big news? Who's going to Black Hat DEF CON? I will be there. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, hopefully, I can sync up with some folks who are on the DEFCON at the at DEFCON. New Volan sound fuzzing successful. Good stuff. We're still in jail, but we do have several zero days, which we will now attack. Format string error. Let's attack that one. Oh, I don't have enough resources because I'm still in jail. Damn it. All right. Um, what are we going to do? Let's activate ransomware on this guy. Let us... Uh, we're going to research. want to see... Oh, malicious USB devices. That would be good. Although that's going to take two turns. We really need something that's one turn. We need something that's one turn. Crap. Crap on a cracker. Crap, crap, crap. What a waste. I did sniff network traffic really quick. That's not what I wanted. But again, my computer's a little chunky, so it's difficult to smoothly move. I do need to get better. So you see these links at the bottom? These are like quick buttons to be able to, you don't have to navigate that tree very well. Uh, you can use these buttons to move faster, which is what I should get better at, but I'm not. Oh, good, BSEC. We should definitely sync up while we're out there. All right. Let me see. Here we go. I'm out of jail. Good. This machine has been ransomware. Good. That means Brandon can see that the machine is ransomware. I suspect he will be activating incident response soon. Let's move to the perimeter. We're moving quick. We're going to the corporate office now. Joshua B knows what's up. What are you patching, Casually Joseph? Just, are you, uh, 
like a vulnerability manager or you work in IT and you're just doing your monthly Windows um, roundup, rollups? Nice. I have, um, I'll be at Black Hat and DEF CON. I get there Tuesday, I leave on Sunday. The first couple days, Black Hat, much more of a corporate event. I have a lot of like work responsibilities and meetings and, and uh, things of that um, like. And the DEF CON, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday is much more open. So I'm actually trying to figure out if maybe a Friday meetup, you know, like kind of a four to six meetup would be a good idea. I don't know. Let me know, BSEC, if you, you know, all right, new vulns found, network sniffing completed. All right, we're on the perimeter. Let's go to the corporate office now. Okay. We're gonna socially engineer our way. We did spend a lot of time and energy on that, right? I, I do think social engineering is one of the skills that we have a lot in. Yeah, human SE, which is good. Um, and we got two turns here to do something. And I really want it to be, let's do a Wi-Fi scan. And can we, huh, why not? So what's interesting is this box hasn't been cleaned yet, this end, end user workstation. So I wonder if Brandon is similar to me in the context that he's like, all right, if I see a um, ransomware endpoint, that means threat actors are in my environment. I don't care about endpoints. I'll just re-image it. But let me, let me put in some controls, detection controls around the endpoint to see what's up. Oh, uh, Casually Joseph. Do you work for Eric Taylor of Barricade Cyber? Cool, BSEC, I love it. We'll have to set up a, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set up a, a Discord channel that's just uh, temporal for uh, DEF CON coordination for folks who are there and wanna meet up. Is anybody watching the threat gen feed? How's that going? All right, guys, we're in the corporate office. That's good. We got a Wi-Fi access point with weak, weak stuff. Um, let us install a rogue device. I like, I like that. Rogue device and plant a Trojan. Let's do both of them. Oh Jesus, look at all this. Um, I, I don't know, let's pick the lowest one again. 28's the lowest. Move this down here. We're in the boardroom. We're in the boardroom, guys. All right. All right, so we've successfully engineered our way into the boardroom. We're trying to install a Trojan on an endpoint and plant a rogue device with the idea that we'll have access to the environment afterwards. Okay, looks like Brandon's not sure what to do. Hold on one second, there it is, all right. I'm buffering on live and threat gen. That sucks. That sucks. Hopefully it's um, not too bad. How's my network looking? Here we go. Oh crap, I got arrested again. But did my 
Oh. <laughs> so I guess planting a Trojan and a rogue device is, is frowned upon. Looks like we're going to have to go through the front door, guys. Let's do a uh, format string error study. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to just start getting smart at that. Oh, Winter Jolt. I'm, I'm really happy that you're part of the Simply Cyber community and that the content that we produce on the channel has been valuable uh, in your career journey. Definitely pumped about that. So Sebazod actually has a really... Sebazod has a really good question here. Is DEF CON good for people who are trying to get in or that are talking about more advanced stuff? The short answer is it's really good for people looking to get in. I will uh, answer more at, on the next turn. Oh God, my stream's buffering apparently. All right, I'm still in jail. Let's see. I'm gonna plug in. Okay. You know what? You have audio issues, you get a new mic. You got network issues, you get it a big spool of spaghetti, okay? Let's do more format string research. This machine's up again. We still own it. Can't do anything with it. All right, so what I really wanna do is something that takes one turn because my understanding is that I will get out of jail next turn. So what can we do that takes one turn? Create malicious USB drive, that's no good. Um, hmm. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do find public bones. And we're gonna do a host scan from the internet, it's fine. And I'm gonna plug into the, uh, plug in my computer, okay? Give me a second. laptop doesn't have an ethernet jack that was uh concerning here let's do this so i can't plug into this laptop y'all because it doesn't have how are you supposed to plug into laptops Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. Hey, Nika Nova, you're good. Do I have, like... Does the Apple connectors work? So you know you're a tech guy or girl, woman, if you've got mad bags of cables. I definitely have a cable in here somewhere that might help. What's up, Chris Frazier? You're missing an absolute meltdown here by me. What is this? That's ethernet to ethernet. All right. Of course, this is like Thunderbolt to internet. Can't plug that into anything because Apple has to be special. All right. 
God dang. All right, so we own the gateway firewall. My internet is jacked up, Chris, and I, um, I'm on a Windows laptop and I'm trying to plug in the ethernet cable and I can't because there isn't a damn plug anymore. All right, we own this box. Let's host scan from it for sure. And then let's port scan all the devices that we can. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I finally get on. I finally get it up, and it, it, it dies instantly. So nothing in there works for me. Um. Oh, 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 oh. I think we got one. I think we got one. USB C to Ethernet. The problem is one of my monitors. I. I only have one USB-C and it's my monitor. Crap on a cracker. I cannot run this stream with one monitor, guys. Yeah, it's a no, so I have, God dang, fucking USB-C. Okay, so here's, here's the deal, y'all. I switched to a Windows machine yesterday. I ordered a docking station yesterday. It will be here tomorrow. Uh, you know what my docking station has? Ethernet jack. Ugh. So many IT fails right now. All right, let's go. All right, we scanned a bunch of crap. We're looking good. We do own this gateway firewall. Uh, I got to clean up my situation too here. Um, all right. Just trying to get my crap in order now. And can we pop this? No, all right. Uh, yeah, you know you work in IT if you got like bags and bags of cables or if you've got, um, you know, a bin somewhere or a drawer. You never know when you're gonna need it, right? All right, so we've done, we found Deb's box, Ashley's box, Kathy's box, this is good. Let's keep, let's keep going. Service enumeration, port scan. Oh, a Linux box, this is good. This is a high value target. Let's put this up here. Um, All right, so I'm basically just frantically scanning the crap out of stuff, looking for assets of value. All right, so I appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, apparently, I'm getting some information that the stream is a little buggy, a little laggy. I know that that can be frustrating. Um, so I appreciate it. Oh, we got the SIM server up here, this Linux device. We're going to enum it. We're going to do this, do this. We can't really see that, but that's still value. Nothing, nothing. There we go. All right, by seeing all these assets, we will be able to uh, look for volumes afterwards.
I know, seriously. Ooh, Tom Bishop. Good idea. Well, so one of the other problems is Hold on. I'm trying to think of what this plugs into. Let me, well, first of all, let me find USB A to C, right? So we've got this piece. All right, hold on one second. I'm going to figure it out by the time the... Oh, he's got IDS in here. Not good. Okay. We do need to take over some assets pretty soon here. We can get a SIM server. Um, I think he loses tele uh, visibility into his environment. All right, I think that's all the assets we can see. So let's find public volumes. All right, so we've got our USB-C to Ethernet. Oh, here's another one. What does this go to? Ooh, we've got US. We've got Ethernet to USB-A. We're winning, we're winning. It is an Apple product, so I don't know if that's gonna fail. All right, so let's see here. All right, so we've got, okay, we're one step closer, one step closer. Now let me figure out what I can unplug here. What does this go to? See, the thing is, I don't wanna unplug Oh, am I being loud? Crap. All right, let me see. I gotta walk around my computer for a second, so grant me some grace. Somebody ho somebody holler if it's my turn. Oh, it's my turn. All right, so we found some public bones. That's good. All right, this looks pretty juicy right here. Sim server's got something going on. SQL injection. What's, what's stuff got? Format string error. We've already done some work on that, so let's do this. So, how do I have three HDMI? Oh, because my camera, my camera comes in on HDMI. So I have two monitors and a camera all plugged into my laptop, which is using all of my ports and then my microphone. So I'm, I, I'm stuck. What a mess. Okay, here we go. It looks like Brandon has, I, I don't know if Brandon segmented his network or not, actually. Um, so let's see what the action log says. Our attack on Steph failed. That's okay. We're not going to do that again. Um, let's do some fuzzing. We do have a lot of workstations now and that SIM server, if I can take that SIM server down, that's pretty good. Um, Let's see, what can we do? We have a, a password attack on this router. Hmm. I don't really want to be noisy because every time we do an unsuccessful attack, it's not good. So what kind of volumes can we find here? Um, what can I do with three people? 
You know what? Let's do a spear fishing attack. That worked really well for us earlier. Let's do that now. I do want to give a shout out and thanks to NCC Group. They sent me a little merch bag, a little gift bag. Look at this hat. This hat's nice, dude. It's like, not only does it fit really well, but it's um, it's like neoprene. So it'll, like I can, I, I run. I can run with this hat. It'll be nice. We're one buffer away from seeing the him step in the frame with a drill and wire. I know, seriously. Seriously, guys. You know, I could try to run this with one with one monitor, but I really feel like it would be a train wreck if I did that. The docking station's coming tomorrow, uh, Friday. Docking station Friday. It is what it is. All right. Let me see. We're crafting our spear fishing. We're doing our fuzzing. So let's end the turn. That would be funny if uh, this the the stream uh, collapses. Okay. Thinking future battles. Yeah, I agree. Agree. Yeah, I think, um, guys, I will make it a point. I'll, I'll, I'll make this promise to you. Like, obviously, I'm going to have the docking station. All future um, threat gen let's plays will be hardwired on the network. So this won't be an issue. Okay. Or this shouldn't be an issue. Clint said Jerry's not a threat to Brandon. Oh my God, that's devastating. Dude, I don't know why it's 20 frames per second here. Let me, let me lower my, um, let me lower the quality of my um, stream from high def to 720. Oh, I can't do it while I'm live. That sucks. All right, let's see what's up. Um, we've done fuzzing. Here's the DC server, the sim. We got a heap overflow and a cross-site request forgery. Can we make advantage of that anywhere else? Cross-site request forgery. All right, let's do this. Let's study cross-site request forgery for two turns and then we'll attack the sim server. And hopefully our uh, social engineering attack, our spear phishing attack. Uh, yeah, I do have a couple USB hubs, but I recently, um, I recently hooked my wife up and built out like a battle station for her. And uh, I was like, oh, I don't need these. Because <laughs> my, my Apple computer, I had a Apple, you know, docking station type thing. Um, I wonder if that would even work. That could work, right? That could work. That's also USB-C, but I don't want to do it while I'm live streaming. That would, that would be bad. Oh, I don't like that look. There we go. All right. Looks like we got 26 people in chat here. Turn the music service off. Oh, so the music is built into Restream. I'll turn it off. Here. I turned off the music service. Let's see if it helps with the quality of the stream. I don't think it will, but... All right. We successfully compromised an asset. The spear fishing was successful. Who did we get? Oh, the same Carl as before. Well, okay. 
That's annoying. Um, does that mean we can scan these guys now? Oh, we can. All right, so let's be quiet. Let's be quiet because now we can use this as a pivot point, okay? So this is our pivot point, and these three machines, at least these three, are um, via, via this guy, okay? And I think these ones are will be as well, too. Did that help? Uh, is the stream better with the music service off? Let me know in chat if you would, because, you know, I'm trying to figure it out just as much as y'all. Hopefully you guys are um, enjoying the stream. Let me go ahead and throw the caption up. When you say you are good, is it better now, BSEC, because I've uh, disabled the audio? Let me know. All right, cross-site request forgery research completed. That SIM server's looking good. Um, let's go ahead and attack the SIM. Actually, let's not do that. While we have the pivot, let's keep doing this. Right, let's take advantage of the pivot we have. All right, let me look at chat. All right, for me, it looks good. Just play, you're good. Now I guess I would be, I will be banned from watching then if it gets out, sorry everyone. Oh, I don't even know what you're saying. Um, Yeah. Well, I do like the audio, so I'm gonna put it back on. It gives me like, you know, a vibe. All right, so my goal here is to, I guess I wanna pivot. I really want this embedded device. I still wanna take down an HMI. The DC server, we do have cross-site request forgery that we can take down. That would be pretty devastating to him if we attacked it and it, um, it would be pretty devastating if we attacked his domain controller and he, uh, ha he would have to shut down his network, right? All right, so these are just more end users. We've got M. Osier looking pretty good. All right, let's do this. He still doesn't know about our pivot, so let's keep working on it. All right, hopefully we can pivot. If we could take this down, this would be good. These Windows servers are good too. Can I see these things? I can see these things. Hmm. I'm gonna change it up into a port. Uh, look at these devices, because I servers are always valuable. All right, let's go. Oh, thank you, BSEC. I, people were telling me that it was laggy and chunky and stuff, so I assumed that's why I lost my mind with the network cable. All right, so just to keep catch folks up, um, I've been arrested twice, once for entering um, the plant control room and once for entering the corporate office of the business. Uh, so now I'm operating from my glorified hacker Starbucks. We've got uh, POP3 server. We've got the storage server. This is good. Um, let's see. Let's keep, let's keep on. Cut. Let's see. Let's do enumeration there. Enumeration there. This is a big environment. Enumeration there. Port scan there. Still can't see this one. 
We've got one asset. Let's do public phones. And let's end the turn. Yeah, I know, Robert Buchanan. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating when you're on stream and you <laughs> need network connectivity. We'll see. I'm, I'm pretty excited about the, um, the uh, docking station I ordered. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's still... <laughs> Still dongling away on its own. All right, let's see what's up. All right, we've got a couple uh, attacks available to us, a couple Windows computers. I think, let's see, if we can, no, we can't do that. What would be good to take over? Um, let's see. Trying to think what would make sense. If we could compromise the SIM server, he won't see anything. So let's do that. Okay, let's deny all the services SIM server, okay? I know it gets a little loud, but I think it's okay. Yeah, he would detect me, but if it's a zero day, if it's a zero day, he he may not detect it. Oh, we don't have any zero days on that. Nope. All right. A physical firearm? That's funny. All right, let's keep rolling. We're at turn 38 of 60. I appreciate you guys hanging with me and playing today. The short timer makes it a little difficult for me to talk through my strategy. Um, we do own this gateway firewall. We do have this owned device, which looks like he's actually remediated. Um, so that's, you know, I, I think we've lost our our pivot into the environment, which totally stinks. Can we even, I don't, yeah, we can see, cause the gateway firewall is here. We can definitely take out the domain controller. It looks like our SIM server attack failed, which is obviously quite noisy and unfortunate. All right, guys. Let's go to the perimeter. I think we can do some wireless attacks. All right. And my, my logic here is that let's do USB too. My logic here is let's go to the perimeter. Let's drop some USB devices like I initially tried to get into the environment and attack. That wasn't going so well. I got arrested twice. So then I tried to do some spear fishing, which had some success. And we were able to do some lateral movement and some discovery. Excuse me, we did some discovery, but I didn't really get to move laterally within the environment. Yes, my monitor may have USB-C. It's a good point. The problem is... Um, I don't have a port for the monitor to go to. I see what you're saying, though. I do see what you're saying. That could be a possibility. Let me see here. We're at the perimeter. We're doing some more studying for one more turn. Um, not studying, we're doing USB drops. Um, so we've got one more turn. What can we do? I guess we can evade network detection because we are gonna be noisy soon. And we can... Um, 
find public phones, which gives us something. Oh, hold on. Oh, I only want one turn, that's why. Okay. Uh, what can we do for one turn? Um, can't do much, people. It's kind of a waste that I'm doing these scans, but... Hopefully that doesn't help. I do have to find out whether or not doing the scans increases your threat intelligence score. I have some zero days right now. Here's my plan. Right now I, I'm doing USB, malicious USBs. I'm in the perimeter. So I'm going to drop the USBs and hope that Carl picks them up and installs them. That's my plan uh, right now. So we'll see. We are playing threat gen, red versus blue. Um, cybersecurity platform. I'm playing against a human, uh, Brandon Poole from Panoptesy. Um, it's a blue team differ organization. Good, good organization. Uh, all right, so we've got our malicious USB, which is great. We've got our network evasion, which is great. Um, Looks like we've found a couple devices, which is great. Let's go ahead and drop the USBs. Okay. And let's do port scan that. All right, let's move. We did have success at the plant. Although, here's my thing. <clears throat> I really feel if we... Go on premise. The perimeter is one thing, but if we go on premise, we're um, <clears throat> we're not. We get arrested. I'm not interested in getting arrested again. You know what I'm saying? So do we go? Do we go? Let's go to the plant one more time. I really wanted this to work. Does that take? Why didn't that take? Hold on one second. Did I lose my turn? What happened? Did, my, did I run out of time? Hey, Cyber Matt Lee. I'm too noisy. So just go YOLO. Is what is that what we're saying? Just go YOLO. Oh, it is, Michael. It totally is. All right, I'm going to go YOLO up in here. I need to play more on the blue team side. That's where I'm, you know, classically trained. Uh, the red side, you know, I've done coursework and, and labs and stuff, but I'm not... Uh, a pen tester in any capacity. All right, let's hope for a USB drop. All right, let's see. Malicious USB drop successful, but we were kicked out. Kicked out's okay. Kicked out's okay. Malicious USB drop. Looks like we own Gonzalez here. It's good. So let's do a host scan from him or her. Let's do servicing on there. Some of these devices we cannot see, some we can see. Do a password attack on the DMZ sec connection. Hmm. What does harvesting credentials do for us? User account password information. Okay. So let's harvest creds off this box. Little mini cats action. 
install some disruptive malware. No big deal. I feel like his physical security, he must have cameras up. He must have cameras up. Ooh, look at all these assets. Dang, son. All right, and let's do some fine public bones. All right, let's end the turn. Give me a moment, I'll BRB. Cyber Matt Lee, what's the beard situation, my friend? How's the beard coming along? I want to know what's up with that. All right, let's start the turn. Hide the log. We've got our position. Oh, man, look at all these devices. A lot of embedded devices. Yes, yes, yes. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage. Rage against the light. I'm feeling pretty good. All right. Seriously, throw Stuxnet. Well, guys, we found a couple embedded devices. We're feeling pretty good here. I'm hoping that we can attack these embedded devices and drop the mic. There's our skills. We've learned a couple things. Weak password, FizSec, cross-site request forgery, really designed to help us with um, some of these vulns. Format string error in here. The SIM server had the cross-site request forgery. Apparently that was an unsuccessful attack, unfortunately. We have found embedded devices. We are still, we're in our, you know, hacker layer. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this. Let's see what we can do. Please allow me to attack you. I cannot see you. Crap. Why can't I see you? All right. PCS firewall, can I attack you? I can, okay, cool. All right, so let's do some um, fuzzing so we can get some vulns for this PCS firewall. That's where we need to be. And let us, that's gonna take two turns. What can we do for two turns that would be useful? Um, Cross-site request forgery. Uh, cro well, you know what? A lot of systems have cross-site request forgery, so maybe we study that. Yeah. All right, it's kind of a waste, but whatever. We're hoping to lay low for two turns so then we can hopefully find some some vulnerability on this firewall right here this is what we need oh crap he patched gonzalez damn it okay that's okay because we're doing cross-site request forgery research uh he's fully patched that machine which totally stinks what's the ip address on this machine one one ten zero sixty six one one three ten zero I need a ten zero sixty six ten zero sixty six 
10 0 66 10 0 66 10 0 66 damn it where is the 10 0 66 damn 10 0 1 6 mmm Okay, I'm trying to find a machine that is in the same network segment because clearly the 1066 is where it's at. 1091 is where that firewall is. Hmm. 1066, this is in there. Okay, can we take that over? 10116. So we need 1066 or 1091. Okay, hold on. This has got to be over here. This is 10116. This is the infrastructure stuff. That's all down here. What's this guy? I'm starting to group it by um, network segment because he's clearly segmented. All right. Um, this is all up in here. 141, 141. 141, 141, 41, okay. Oh, look at all these. This is great. All right, so let's, let's, I really need to get into here. Um, what is she on? 166, oh, that's good, right? Is 166 what they were? No. Huh. 116. I can attack the mail server. 116. 141. What's this guy? 166. So they're in the DMZ. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take stuff on. Any zero days? All right, now I did play this game with Brandon the other day, and he told me that he actually prefers to put EDR and patch up the end user workstation area first, which is what I'm about to attack right now. I did try to attack Steph earlier and failed, so I'm not 100% sure how good I feel about this. Let's continue to... Dude, Nick Gonzalez is in... He's in the PL. Oh, God, I really need to get this guy's machine. Maybe we try to drop another USB. That's what we should do. We should try to drop another USB. Okay. 116. So that's all over here. Ah, Carl. This is a Carl workstation. All right, so that failed. All right, let's drop a U. Let's go to the perimeter. Okay. That's going to take one turn, and then we can drop a USB, which will only take one credit. So let us... What do we need? Uh, heap overflow? All right. I'm doing this proactively, because if we can access, get to this PCS firewall, we can use our heap overflow training. Which switch casually, Joseph? This one, Juniper. These are all the end users. I mean, the remote users. These are all my end user workstations. This is in the... Uh, All right, we're at the perimeter. Let's drop a USB drive. All 
All right, and what can we do for two turn? Uh, all right, what can we do? Yeah. I really need to compromise an asset is what I need. Can't do much without, you know, can't do anything there either. Damn. It's not, I need another hacker resource. I really should have investi invested in that. Let me do Wi-Fi scanning and the turn. All right. Yeah, I lost my foothold in. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I am doing Mimikat. So I did wireless network scanning. Hopefully um, I can pick something up. I'm basically trying to pop a box so I can move in there. What would be oh, Carl? What is this, by the way? 166. So this must be. This is some type of switch or router. Um, right. And all this is over here. All right. Deep overflow research, Melissa US Dreebop, successful. Let's see what we got. Who did we get? Who did we get? Oh, that was an old uh, update. Let's drop another one. All right, and we can we've got four. Do a heap overflow. I know it really is. So I've been kicked out. I, I really am reluctant to go on site again, guys. I feel like... Actually, you know what? Let's do it. We've got enough research done where if we can get on site... If we can get on site and find these, th like physically get to them, we can instantly, you know, get them. And, uh, you know, whatever. A host scan for good measure. Yeah, I do need a foothold. I need I need a foothold of some sort. I'm going into the plant now. Like I, I'm, I'm frustrated. I, I'm having unsuccessful attempts at trying to remotely attack someone. I'm going on site. Hopefully I don't get caught. We will see. Uh, you know what's a fun topic, guys? Some of you do not know this. Many of you don't know this because I actually haven't told anyone. So nobody knows this but me. Um, I didn't renew my certifications this year. I had CISA, system. I have CISA, system. I've been kicked out. CISSP. I just let them expire. I don't think I need them anymore. Kind of hard decision to make too. All right, action log. Everything fails. That's not good. The firewall, this one. We could do that. Let's see, what's in our action queue? All right, let's do it. I stand with uh, BSEC. Let's go for a stack overflow classic attack on the server firewall. Let's go. I mean, we're getting close in turns, guys. It's turn 51 to 60. Um, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I wonder if I could get... I might be able to do attack on the sim server again. Right? We were unsuccessful before, but we do have um, a pretty good cross-site request forgery attack. Bring down that sim server and eliminate their visibility. What do you think, chat? Yeah, I keep getting kicked out, though. I got kicked out. Yeah, Matt Lee, we can definitely sync you up. Um, shoot me an email, if you will, and I can set up a um, a meet and greet. Also, uh, we will be having an eight-person invitational tournament in September. Uh, the eight players have been selected already, Matt. But at a, at a minimum, it would be cool to have you pegged as an alternate uh, just in case someone has to abandon uh, because of whatever. Um, and we could definitely get you on stream and play heads up against me as well. I switch between red and blue each week. So, I mean, technically, um, you could play red next week against me being blue. We could do another heads up. Let's play. All right. So what was the action cue? Attack failed on the firewall. Jesus. All right, let's attack the sim server. Uh, let us do a denial of service attack. Now let's do a manipulation. No, because I still have to get through the dam. Actually, you know what's interesting? I'm going to do a manipulation. I don't know if the, the game is configured this way, but for those of you who don't know, sim servers typically have the ability to remote into boxes like there's a reverse access mechanism between the agent and the server itself because if something pops or alerts you want to be able to jump into that end user's workstation or that server and get it remediated quickly so there is a possibility if i get that sim server that i can um get into the pls area of course it failed, right? Jesus, man. Ugh. Let's do a heap overflow. Guys, I'm basically going down swinging. I'm going down swinging. When you say tax, I don't know what you mean. Um, that Cyber Matt Lee, but... Yeah, Matt, we, we do these streams. I've played with uh, against Josh, Josh Mason, Eric Taylor. I'm playing against Brandon Poole right now. So, yeah, I mean, see, senior in industry professionals, um, you know, stream. You're definitely in there. Dude, again. God dang, son. What am I doing here? Guys, I'm super noisy. I'm super mad. Let's go YOLO and go on site. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just march right in there, okay? Be cool. Let's do um, physical security, right? Just be cool. Let's act like it's normal. Oh my God. Yeah. VSEC. We could play this again. So Robert Buchanan mentioned something interesting. Why do we remote in? Why not isolate them and tag them? You know, it's interesting, Robert. I mean, you obviously seem uh, like a, a, a practitioner because uh, you've said some things in stream that practitioners would know. Um, I have actually seen interestingly on um, DevSecOps, in, uh, specifically Archin uh, Chadbury, uh, he is a YouTuber, cybersecurity professional, blue teamer, but he works in like a, kind of a, a, a dev ops environment. And the really cool thing is when a machine identifies itself, a server, not an endpoint, right? But when a server identifies itself as compromised, they actually have automation that will spin up a new instance of that server 
move the compromise one off into a isolated network segment, change the IPs and bring up a new one and operations continue operating, no problem. And then they can go look at the compromised one and figure out what's going on. It's a very cool uh, kind of sore use case. All right, let's check out what we did. I'm sure my action failed. Oh, it's still, uh, oh, okay. I didn't fail going to the, the perimeter. Okay, so let's go into the plant one more time. Do physical, be cool, be cool, be cool. Just nuke it, yeah. I'm just going ham right now. Going ham, going ham, let's do it. You know, I, like I said earlier, man, if I'm going to be a bear, let's be a grizzly. Let's go YOLO all up in this piece and see if we can detonate the crap out of something. I don't care what it is anymore. I just want to see the world burn now. I'm so mad. So mad. Here we go. Here we go. We got to the plant. All right. Can we see any of this crap? Nope. 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 Okay, we got to keep going. We got to keep going. Let's go into the data closet. Now let's go into the control room. We've been arrested in the control room. Let's go to the data closet. Okay, let's do physical. And what can we do? Can I see anything while I'm in here? Um, no, I can't really see anything. Ooh, play a Trojan. Gonzalez's machine is the one that was uh, gave us access to these devices, I think, right? So maybe, maybe we don't. Hold on, let's back out. Let's not go to the uh, closet, right? Let's plant the Trojan and hope. Okay, and uh, can I do anything else while I'm in here? Like a password attack on something? Whatever, let's do that. Seriously, AT&T. Guys, I'm gonna try to plant a Trojan in Gonzalez. I'm not going into the control room because I'm hoping that, you know, the deeper you go into the organization, the higher the likelihood of being discovered and thrown out or arrested. So I'm hoping by walking around the outside of the plant, like I'm some type of uh, auditor, uh, will help reduce the chances of compromise. Let's hope, guys, it's not over yet. If we can plant a Trojan on Gonzalez and we can use Gonzalez's workstation to attack the HMIs, we can still win. There is a path to success here. Oh, that looks terrible. Let's not do that. All right, let's go. LFG. Here we go. I've been arrested. Uh, last time I checked business, getting arrested was not good for business. Dude, my threat intelligence score has to be outrageous right now. Look at my... Can you guys see my resource allocation? Look at that. I have negative one. That is hilarious. Oh boy, that's really funny. That is really funny. Can I can I zoom in on that? Ah. Oh. Look, Look at this. Hold on. How do I How do I get over there? Ah. Oh, I wanted you to see it. I wanted you to see it negative 1. Negative 1 that's so ridiculous. I not only can I not do anything I can do less than anything. That's hilarious. I've never seen that. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but. All 
I think Brandon might have me this game, y'all. Oh, yeah, Casually Joseph, regular of the Daily Cyber Threat Briefing. We could have used the toilet attack. We could have used toilet to data center. I got to talk to the developers of this game and have them put that, that in here. All right, so we've got two resources. What can we do? Um, oh, you know what? That was a bug. That was a bug. I actually had two resources. All right, let's... What can we attack? Can we attack something? Can't really attack anything. What are we gonna do, guys? What are we gonna do? I don't think we're gonna do it, guys. I think we may have lost this round. I think we may have lost this round. Uh, not good, y'all. Not good. It seems kind of like... It kind of seems like par for the course, right, guys? I'm, I'm so bad at red teaming that I have negative resources. Like, people don't even want to be associated with me. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So here's what I think. We're going to jump on the stream afterwards uh, on the ThreatGen stream. So the YouTube.com slash ThreatGen. I, I believe I'm not going to win here. <laughs> I'm still in jail. Still in jail. We're going to go to YouTube.com slash ThreatGen. Um, and debrief after this. Gosh, what a what a bummer. So for those of you who join late, like Matt Lee and a couple other people, when the show when the stream started, when the stream started, my microphone didn't work. This microphone, right? This one didn't work. There was no audio. Music didn't work. I had to get this microphone. Got that sorted out. Then the network was laggy, so I got I plugged into Hardwire Ethernet and discovered that my laptop, which I just switched to yesterday, doesn't have Ethernet jacks, so I couldn't fix it. It was just a hot mess on fire. I'd play Toasty sound effect right now, so Toasty! It's just so close, yet so far. I will tell you that I'm not going to knock my king over. I will not be doing that. That is a really funny, uh, that is really funny. Nah, casually, Joseph, if, if it did overflow. Uh, all right, so I'm back. I can go YOLO on one attack. You know, I guess sim server. Should be, you know what? Actually, no. Hmm. What if I was gonna do one YOLO move? I guess take out the file server. I mean the email server. Let's do it. Blue team wins, weathering the storm. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! All right. So let's look at uh, what's going on. Let's look at what's going on here. I was the red team. I was the red team. Let me bring in chat, guys. So, okay. Here's the deal. The blue team did really well. Let me get rid of chat, actually. That's too small for me. Uh, I got arrested three times, which is not great. Um... <clears throat> 17% on my manipulation attacks, 0% on denial of service attacks. That is horrible, horrible numbers, okay? I lost three of my four pivots, also terrible. Resource utilization, 95%. I do like being above 90 uh, on resource utilization, so that's good. But from an execution perspective, 
I guess I, maybe I should have leaned into spear fishing a little bit more, right? 100% success rate probably would have been all right. Let's look at what his environment looked like. I mean, I had seen mo many of them, right? He requested budget twice, got the money twice. Did respond to some incidents. His staff utilization was 82%. Oh, he was just about to discover me with threat intel. Look at this. Look at that. That is not good. That is not good at all. I was about to get popped, even if he hadn't weathered the storm, honestly. All right, guys. So I'm going to go over to Threat Gen's Red versus Blue. So go over there if you'd like to just kind of see the post-game debrief. I'm dropping a link in chat right now. Hope to see you over there. I want to thank all of you for spending some time with me today, watching me get my butt kicked, uh, which could have been better. We'll see you over there in a second. All right, everybody, thank you.